Hello. Hey guys. Hello. 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 <laughs> what the heck? I'm Alicia and I'm Karina. Welcome. Welcome to the channel or welcome back. Yeah, so part 11. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so let's see what we're gonna get for this week. Ooh, I know. There's still so many. Like, wow. It could literally be anything at this point. I just hope it's not another gothic one. <laughs> I'm ready for a colorful or pastel look. Hopefully that's what we get this time. So let's just get on into it. For some reason, we've been getting a lot of gothic or dark yeah, themes. Yeah, for like the past three looks what's um, going on a bunch of dark lips dark shadow dark everything maybe it's because of season you know halloween's coming up <laughs> i don't know let's just see what we get this time Woo! <laughs> manifested <laughs> light academia she what? said oh. okay let's switch it up. <laughs> literally <laughs> oh my gosh i'm excited okay okay so what do you think it's gonna look like light academia like light browns light neutrals um oh okay i see i see what you mean because we've gotten horror academia yes we did that one was a good mm -hmm. one but now light academia i don't know we shall see hopefully it's an easy one <laughs> very light neutral preppy look yes although i did hear that the word preppy is very different from what we <laughs> let's discuss that real quick oh y'all what do you think of when people say the word preppy i'll give you some time <laughs> Because y'all Gen Alphas are using preppy in a whole other way. Oh, it's a Gen Alpha. I'm pretty sure. Or Gen, I don't, I don't even know. know. I'm Gen Z and I didn't even know about this. I'm Girl. like the older Gen Z, so I don't associate with the younger ones. <laughs> the dilemma when you're close to that gap right literally i'm from you know what i'll let y'all keep guessing <laughs> i'm not even gonna say what i'm from <laughs> okay <laughs> y'all no but when i think of preppy i think like uh plaid skirts you know the blazers or like mm -hmm. ties with the button up exactly shirt. very like books very school girl look school girl right like a private exactly. it's that sort of thing but no According to the new gen generation, it's like what? Like a very casual look? Like I'm seeing pullovers. Like casual yet colorful. That's the thing. Color. Okay. Color. Like it's colorful. I was like, what? What is this? This is not preppy. <laughs> but I guess that's what the new generation is calling it now. My brain yeah, all shook. Which one is it now? <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on. Yeah. I just, I wanted to bring that up because it's. <laughs> It's throwing me off. For real. Anyways, I've got it here. Light Academia Core Makeup Aesthetic. Let's see what AI generates for us. Ooh. You know, I'm going to turn it around. <laughs> Which makes it more suspense. So anyways, y'all, while we wait for that picture, how are y'all doing? You doing good? I hope y'all are having a great day or had a good weekend or whatever. Just had a good Labor Day weekend. Okay. And it's, it's still, still thinking. <laughs> okay. It always takes a while. Yeah. Anyways, let's just give her some time. Yeah. Let's go back to the chit chat. What's the gossip? What what's been going on? Mm -hmm. uh, Can you tell we're good with small talk? For real. <laughs> Not good with that. Man, seriously? What is just close. Oh yes. Oh, I, mm, <laughs> exit mm, out of that ad, y'all. Of course. Moment of truth. Did it show up our oh, own? No. Oh, what? Okay. Don't take me long. What? Ooh, Ooh. girl. Hold up. <laughs> this one's gonna be easy. Okay, see what I mean? Academia, like she has those. Yes, this this up. is giving preppy. Yeah. <laughs> Someone. Just because we could only see the top half. But anyway. That's enough, you know. Mm -hmm. The hair, though. The hair. If only we could go all out, it would be so cool to have like lavender wigs and like have the whole shebang. <laughs> shebang. Mm -hmm. I don't think I, no, I don't for sure own <laughs> like any ties at all, you know. I have one tie, but that was for a costume. <laughs> oh, was that for the room? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah, y'all, we were supposed to go to that concert, man. <laughs> real Rebelde quick. Rebelde concert. Yeah, for real. If you guys know who they are, you... The OGs know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, we were... I had the tickets and everything. Had the flight booked, the hotel booked, everything was there. Until, like, the flight got messed up, so they had to cancel it. And then we had to reschedule it and buy new tickets for that. And I was like, I don't got no more money for that, so we had to cancel the whole thing. <laughs> At least they got my refunds, but... <laughs> for sure. it, you know, we had live going on as well, so things like that always happen 
unfortunately anyways back to this yeah getting <laughs> sidetracked for real she anyways looks cute though very cute i love, freaking manifested like what <laughs> this one's gonna be easy all right um let's just get into it okay right off the bat she looks really dewy she does very clear fair skin i'm gonna go in with primer by elf power grip primer also i want to apologize for this raggedy t-shirt <gasps> like yo it's laundry day <laughs> girl don't even talk about mine mine is all faded and gross <laughs> i did not sleep on <laughs> in it at least the same but like oh uh, yeah these outfits are know. not it <laughs> Okay, um, but they're real now. <laughs> uh, see. Right, I'm waiting for you. Oh, I thought you were gonna use something else. No, because usually when okay. I have a dewy look, I go for this primer oh. as well. The sticky wet one. Such a good primer. <laughs> oh. So I was thinking, just because we always do a light base on our, like, we've been going at it with the Edward Cullen look. <laughs> the <laughs> default. Like the <laughs> and looks, yeah. We might just speed it up from now on since y'all. You know we've done it a lot of times you know what products we use at this point hopefully hopefully and if not we'll then go back and look at the other one <laughs> um but yeah we'll spare you the boring repeatedness of yeah. using the same products the same base because it's basically the same thing we haven't really bought anything mm -hmm. new so far so unless we do that's when we'll probably show yeah for now we're just gonna speed through mm -hmm. <laughs> So either enjoy a little speed run with some music or I don't know, we'll probably just cut it off. <laughs> y'all we are done with the face it's giving edward cohen vampire vibes anyways moving on i just realized this is a dewy look and i already put powder on this so <laughs> i already screwed up but it could always be fixed right i'm gonna go in with highlight to fix those dewy spots make it look glowy okay she's looking very soft so see what shadow are we looking at so y'all, I'm gonna go with this palette. She's a bit old, a bit 2016. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. <laughs> but this is what we're working with. We just have a bunch of old palettes. Oh, oh. And you know what? This is a good way to reuse and recycle. Yes, for real. <laughs> this is giving very Korean makeup, no? Oh, it is. I see that. Like very fair, very light, very... um. There's some of those warm browns mm -hmm. with like a little bit of shimmer in there very light tones mm -hmm. i'm just going in with a very white glowy shade or shimmery shade from this ColourPop bt21 bon voyage palette in the shade white cracker <laughs> so hopefully it's bringing back that dewiness i didn't even say what shade i'm using incense that's for the whole lid y'all this feels kind of like a fever dream to me to me what? person like doing this the whole makeup thing because i just i remember just back in the day just watching all these makeup tutorials oh my god and never in my life did i imagine doing this you know mm -hmm. that part <laughs> so now that we're experimenting with this you know doing it ourselves right it's kind of interesting yeah. i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows she, she has them very lightly done i'm not used to that our brows are really dark so hopefully hmm, we'll see how we can make this work you know we need to invest in buying a freaking glue stick because <laughs> we need to start blocking these eyebrows maybe that will be the next step into <laughs> committing to the look <laughs> my camera just died so that is round one yeah anyway so for those of you who do not know or do not keep up with the previous video we briefly talked about this mm -hmm. um trip that we took during labor day weekend to the kiss yeah yeah we stayed for 30 days mm -hmm. it felt pretty long wow. it did i was kind of getting homesick mm -hmm. <laughs> but no it was fun nonetheless like just being near the ocean is just super calming and amazing like yeah. there's a reason why i always go or want to go uh every year for my birthday mm -hmm. it's like what an hour and a half away from us so. yeah so actually super close mm -hmm. oh my god something though that <sighs> I was kind of bummed about is that you surprised me with a helicopter ride. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we didn't do that. Mm -hmm. 
Mostly because it was what limit capacity was for what? Three people, Three people. and there was four of us, so we didn't want to leave one of us behind. Mm-hmm. So Yeah, because yeah, mom, us two, and then our older sister. Yeah. So that wouldn't be fair, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. And then if it was only like me and you going, you wouldn't feel right leaving no. my mom and my other sister out. Yeah, so. I didn't feel right. Mm-mm. Looking back at it now, like ugh, we should have done zip lining then. Honestly, yeah. But you did say it was expensive. Okay, that's true. So. Like, how much was the helicopter ride again? Per person? Like, it really depends how much time you oh, wanted snap. to go on it for. The cheapest, I think, was 65 per person. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. And that was only for five minutes, which I was like, heck oh. no. I know, I was like, heck no, I ain't doing that. For <laughs> Yeah, five minutes is not worth it. Might as well save your coin so you could get on it longer, you know? Right. Because what? <laughs> you get on it, next thing you know, you're off. <laughs> like, girl, what? You just take <laughs> off and then come back Literally, down. Literally, like, <laughs> what's the point? <laughs> And then for zip lining, it's uh like a whole mile, I think, of just Ooh. zip lining. So I feel like that is kind of worth the price. So no time limit or? No, it just depends on the distance. Oh. What I read on the website. So. Hmm. And then it's so beautiful the view that I saw some of the pictures and they look freaking incredible. Like Ooh. apparently you, you go over a lake as well. <gasps> Oh my god, we need to invest for that. <laughs> yeah, there's also horseback riding on the beach, so oh, that's something yeah. I also want to do. Same. Or like kayaking, we talked about mm-hmm. doing that, but we ended up doing the boat ride on the little swans. Oh yeah, the little paddle boarding. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I think one of our cats is in here. I heard a jingle. <laughs> is it Binks again? <laughs> Oh yeah, we also took both our cats. Yes. <laughs> they had a Binks, good time. Yeah, Binks loved it. Mia was kind of hesitant oh. at first. Mm. It seems like she was kind of homesick. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I kind of felt bad. Mm-hmm. That was just the first day though. Yeah, like, yeah. She, she was fine after mm-hmm. that. Oh my god, y'all. Like, we left Friday night at the witching hour. It was like past oh, midnight, around so cool. 2, right? It was like yeah. 2 in the morning. Y'all. <laughs> it was creepy. It was, no, that's an understatement, man. It was so scary. Imagine driving in the middle of nowhere, like in between woods where it's pitch black and there's like no other cars. No cars, no signal. Oh, no signal. No signal. That's another scary thing. <sighs> Like, what if we got stranded? What exactly. if something happened with the car and we... Mm-hmm. And there's, like, no no houses, like, around. Nope. Like, it takes a while to get to the next, I don't know, like, little town or yeah. area. It's pure woods, pure darkness, pure creepy we scariness. Saw, <gasps> was it a wolf or a coyote? I couldn't tell. But Probably we a saw, coyote. I didn't see it. Yeah, no. yeah but we, we saw a creature out there. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, it was creepy. Mm-hmm. Also, something that my mom mentioned that I didn't really pay attention to was that she noticed a car pulling up behind us and it was coming Ooh, pretty fast. Really? We hit a curve or something, and next thing you know, it was gone. Like it disappeared. No way. It never caught up to us. Because did you notice that other? Because we were driving pretty slow because our car yeah. was like yeah. heavy with like packages and all that. I mean, with our luggage. So, anyways, a lot of the cars that were coming in behind us were like passing us on. Again, because we were driving pretty slow. And then this one car, my mom said, came up from behind us and it was coming real fast and for some reason on that curve like it just disappeared like it never... i did not hear her say that uh-huh. what like the she heck? did not see it again like <laughs> that is so creepy what the heck oh my god y'all i did not know that happened Oh, something creepy that happened to me though is I got this weird feeling at some point during this ride. I mean, I was already creeped out, but this was a weird feeling. It was like a kind of like that feeling that you get when you're on a roller coaster when you hit that drop and your stomach feels like Ugh. that's how I felt. You and actually I, felt that? Yeah, I felt like a weird sensation, like kind of motion sickness, that mm-hmm. like that drop you feel. Like I said, anyways, but it was so unexplainable. And then seconds later, oh yeah, this happened while I was looking out at my window. Anyways, a few seconds later, I just noticed a cross. You know, like when someone dies and they put up a cross on the side of the road? And I was like, okay, that was creepy. How I just felt like something, you know, something was off, something. I just felt sick, and then next thing I know, I see that. So if y'all don't know that, the meaning, like if you ever see a cross like on a tree or like in a random spot, like on the street or something, Mm -hmm. it usually means that someone died there. And that's why they put a cross there. Mm -hmm. It's very common here in the Mm -hmm. US. Pretty sad, creepy. 
Anyways, hopefully these brows look, they don't look anything like hers, but <laughs> I mean, I always wanna, I always like to do the brows first just to mm. get them over with. Cause if you know anything about me, you know I hate doing the eyebrows. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that. Moving on to the fun part, which is the eyeshadow. Ooh, I really like this look. Very peachy, pinky, glowy, glittery. I'm going in with the same palette she did, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with the shade Incense and Love. I'm gonna mix those two. Okay, she has very light uh, blush too. Thank also, y'all, like if you peep the nails, we just saw Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we haven't talked about mm -hmm. that. We saw it yesterday, finally. Like, did y'all like it? What did you think about it? What are your thoughts? Because I know you didn't. I did not like it. No, it just did not hit the same for me. <laughs> a lot of people were saying like, oh, it's just like the first one. It's so good. It's like we <laughs> talked about earlier. It's For me, it's like really rare to see a sequel be that better hits. than the original. Yeah, than the first or that one. hits just as good yeah, as the original. It's very rare. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's what happened in this case. Like, they tried to like bring back some of like the original things from the og movie but it just didn't hit the same i mean i did enjoy the film but definitely not better than the first or equally as good as mm. first, to me that's just my opinion yeah and i think oh my god no i, I actually talked to you about this um the yeah. part that really threw me off was the oh, the, animation. the animation yeah in this first part of the movie yeah, where it's like, sort of in the beginning where they explain about charles yeah and how he died and spoiler oh alert. my gosh no. <laughs> i'm not good at this yes yeah, spoiler alert yeah the way charles died it was just a weird animation choice i mm -hmm. did not like it at all like i remember just being so thrown off by it yeah you even commented yeah that while we were watching yeah i was like no same i get you like i was from the very beginning i was like okay i already know i'm not gonna like this movie Damn. usually I, I could tell right away or even with trailers if yeah, i'm gonna like yeah. it or not and that's what i told you i was like i don't know how i feel about this movie yeah, yeah. and i was i was right <laughs> like i wanted to like oh it's beetlejuice like, who, who doesn't like the og movie mm -hmm. but this one just didn't really mm. or like that another spoiler um the baby mm. part what? oh mm, that just made it even worse for me <laughs> i was like, like what am i watching <laughs> Like, I get it, Beetlejuice is like that, it's very random yeah. and quirky like that, but I feel like the baby parts were, it was it even was too much. Uncalled for, yeah, it was too much. Like, at least make it be cohesive, because in the first movie, it was chaotic, but it made sense. It was within the storyline. Yeah. This baby part was like, okay, I get it. She was like, it was showing the future. So Jenna you know, was having a baby that, and like, that. in the whole therapy session, the couple therapy. Oh, how she just got pregnant. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, the big no for me. If you liked it, let us know why you liked it or what part, or let us know. I like reading other people's point of views. Although I do have to say what I did enjoy about the movie is uh, each character and the way they did seem a lot like the first one. Just Oh yeah, that's true. Like they picked really good characters, actors, and they really did portray just like in the first one. It's just the script. Like whoever wrote that script, y'all screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> there was also a lot going on. Yes, like the whole ex-wife thing. This is full of spoilers. The whole ex-wife thing, Beetlejuice's ex-wife. And then what oh yeah then the murder guy <laughs> like the the ghost that astrid started liking that it was just so random there was so much going on it was like pick one or the other right the whole like frankenstein bride thing that was a uh, very anticlimactic like towards the end the way she wrapped that whole part up was just like we didn't really get to see much of her no. and if we did it it was just, was just uh, chasing beetlejuice and yeah. we didn't even see much of that it was like they tried fit it, fitting in a whole lot into the movie without really doing much. Right. <laughs> but I'm glad some people enjoyed it at least. At least, yeah. yeah. Like I really did. Uh, I caught myself laughing a lot at some parts. It's just the whole plot is the thing. Like, yeah, the yeah. plot could have really been better. Oh yeah, like y'all, what are some sequels of movies that you really enjoyed or loved Ooh. better than the first? Because for us, was The Conjuring, <laughs> the second one. Even then, I feel like I still like The Conjuring, the first one better. Oh. But like, I, it's... The second one is about the 
girl and the single mom, right? Yeah, single mom. from England, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. The only thing I didn't like about that movie was a crooked man thing. That threw See, me oh, off. No, that yeah, threw no, me off. no. I was even like, what is this? Yeah. Like, I was on the verge of not liking it. But, I mean, it's still, it was, it was it's still good. It's crazy how a lot of people actually liked the crooked. Yeah. I know which one. The Hunger Games Mockingjay. Ooh. Right? Ooh, yes. That's a really good example. That one was oh really gosh. good. Oh my yeah. Because obviously the first movie is so iconic. Right. But the second one, when she oh. freaking like shatters the whole... Like the that games. was like iconic. Oh. Man. Or even the whole like arena where they're fighting. The like water. everything yeah. about that movie. So good. Introduction to new characters as well. Like Finnick. And yeah. All. Oh my god. That one's such a good example. But let me know, y'all. Like, what? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I feel like know. Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> the classic movies. Well, well I, I had say... to think about it. I was like, which one's this? Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's better than the first one. But it's, but it's e like, I feel like it's equally. It's equal, yeah. Good. yeah, it is. Yeah, I remember. Talking about Chucky, they added the whole collection to freaking Netflix. So I want to binge watch the whole movie. Well, Except for the first one, they didn't add the first one. But Seriously. that one's on Prime for free. So, oh. or actually, that one's also on YouTube for free. So. Oh really? Yes. What yeah. the heck? I know. Like I keep tabs because I like Chucky. <laughs> Yeah, the first one. So I might actually do a little binge watch if you don't want to. I want to. Oh, just start doing that. <laughs> do you guys have a favorite Chucky movie? Have y'all even watched Chucky? Come on, who hasn't watched Chucky? <laughs> but yes, let us know which one's your favorite because ours is the fourth one, mm -hmm. Bride of Chucky. I remember being like five years old and watching that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we grew up watching that. Okay, y'all, I think I'm gonna move on to the eyebrows. <laughs> are, mm -hmm. are you still doing that? No, I'm doing eyeliner. Oh, in that case, let's do the lips. Or, no, actually, mascara. Y'all, I need to not forget to do mascara because I always forget. <laughs> Low key. I also need to invest in eyelashes. Oh, I actually bought some eyelashes. Oh, yeah, you yes. told. Oh. So, hopefully, we should start doing eyelashes, see if we could do that because we don't really wear eyelashes. So, hopefully, it's not too hard for us. <laughs> I'm liking this look a lot. It looks soft and cute. I watched a snippet of the trailer for Terrifier. <gasps> no way, you did? Three? Is it the third one? Yeah. Yes. I don't know if I want to watch it now. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> We're gonna watch it in theater. <laughs> yeah, it looks so gory. It does. I just hope it's not worse than the second one, because if it is, then R.I.P. to us, because... For those of you who don't know, I don't do well with gore. Like, mm -mm. I'm way too squeamish for that. I don't even know how I watched the second one in theater. I theaters. know, what the heck? And then freaking, because we brought a friend along, yeah. and he was eating popcorn <laughs> during the whole movie. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I was like, what? We also saw people walk out of the theater. It was that <laughs> yes. bad. No, someone was like, this movie sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> they it just was the gore. Out. Do you remember during what part? Oh my god, no. Was I it don't. like the possum scene? Ooh. It might have been. It might have been. Yeah, that one was disturbing. <laughs> it was. Yeah, but I... Yeah, I don't know. It also looks like there's going to be some, some raunchiness oh, in there. that's true. They're going to add... I hate when they do that. Always. They always do mm -hmm. this. Like, why? Why do you have to add that scene? Why can't y'all be like insidious or conjuring? I feel like because they have that advantage since it's, the horror movies are mostly rated R, so they get to get away with it. That's like, oh. might as well. Like, I just want to see the horror, y'all. Like, if I want to see that, I'll just go online. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> It'd be fun to do a whole video challenge trying to speak in an Australian accent. Oh, they were gonna say Spanish. <laughs> oh, that too, because <laughs> we have a hard time speaking Spanish. So yeah, surprisingly, since my mom, well, we live with uh, an only parent. I mean, mm -hmm. what? <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> <laughs> we live with only one Spanish speaking parent, mm -hmm. so. Which was always working at the time, so we didn't even really grow up talking mm -hmm. to her. That's kind of sad, honestly, that like now that I'm Sad. thinking about it, holy crap. Like, we'd only see her during the weekends, technically. Yep, because y'all, she would work from 2 to 11. So when we get out of school, she wasn't home. Yeah. <laughs> we were just there as kids on our own, literally. Yeah. Like, we took care of ourselves. That's a story for another time, y'all. <laughs> 
Yep. But anyways, but yeah, we didn't really grow up speaking Spanish. We also grew up in a town where there's mostly mostly predominantly white. So yeah, and there wasn't a lot of Latinos here. No, there was, but like a little bunch. A little at the bunch. time, like yeah. right now, it, yeah, there's a lot of mixed here. Yeah, like people. It's a lot more Mexican people, Spanish speaking people. There's a little bit of everything going on, but <laughs> honestly, but back in the day, like I said, predominantly white neighborhood mm-hmm. town, and there, yeah, we didn't really speak Spanish. No, we or at least, grow up. Yeah. At first we did because we actually went to a Spanish and English speaking school. So that's what al- helped us as well. Like right. when we were very, very young. So that helped. Yeah, I'm talking like grade school yeah, for me. Yeah. No, part of my grade school we switched schools because we moved a lot as kids so that's when i started learning like pure english and we lost some of our spanish for (laughs) real especially up in washington Mm. when we moved uh to bellingham yeah bellingham (laughs) y'all there was no mexicans over there i think i only saw one (laughs) from what i remember apart from our like my mom's friend yeah because she moved because of her work and so a lot of people from there yeah again a lot of mexican and american like mm-hmm. a, a lot of Hispanics moved up there with us. But yeah, basically now we're no Sabo kids. <laughs> okay, not really, but like sometimes we forget how to say a word in Spanish. And it could be the simplest word. Literally. I remember once I forgot how to say Sunday in Spanish. Oh Sunday. Okay, no. Oh. One time I forgot how to say fall. Oh my god. And this was embarrassing because it was during a school conference. Oh my god. And they were, y'all, if you know, you know, like if you're the, how do I say, the bilingual kid, you're always translating for your parents. Yep. Like if they don't know English. So it was like that I would always be translating for my mom. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, for the love. Like I couldn't, I just couldn't remember the word for oh fall. And I remember the, my, I think it was like two teachers with me during the conference. They were just like, Hmm? Like what? <laughs> oh no! And I was like, oh, okay, it was it's so embarrassing. Otoño, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there another way of saying it, or is it just otoño? I think it's just otoño. Oh, okay. But the, I feel like to be fair, the sort of thing is bound to happen if you speak more than one language. Cause come on. True. Mm-hmm. And if you speak one language more than the other, you're gonna be forgetting some of the words mm-hmm. of the other language you're not speaking. Right. And this is why I consider English my first language. Because, like, that's mostly what we did grow up speaking. I mean, obviously, my our mom only speaks Spanish. But, like yeah. we said, we didn't really grow up mm-hmm. talking to her. Oh, that's, Sadly, so that's so sad. And this is what you have. <laughs> <laughs> A kid who can barely talk to their mom. I'm just kidding. No. A kid who, who can, can barely talk. talk. <laughs> Uh, but um, yeah, funny story about this whole language thing. I remember when we transferred to this town, my mom was getting us registered to school. Like she was registering me in my middle school here. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was asked like, okay, what's your primary language? What's your first language? And I was like, mm. English. <laughs> Because in my brain, I was like, okay, I mostly speak English. Like, that's all I mostly yeah. know. And so I was placed in a English class like, with people who were barely learning how to speak Spanish. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And it didn't take long for the teachers to notice that, okay, this girl knows a lot more Spanish. Mm. Like, let's move her to another yeah. class. And I remember being sitting down in that class, mostly white people, white kids, like being, you know, just learning Spanish. And I was like, mm. why am I here? Like, I, I, yeah. what? <laughs> I felt so dumb. What grade were you in? Eighth. Eighth <laughs> With grade. Only because oh, it worked. Okay, okay. I was like 13. You know? But yeah, I was asked like, oh, so what do you think your Spanish? Like, where do you think you're with it? You're with it. Oh, wait, I cannot talk. <laughs> How do I even say this? Where do you think your Spanish level is at? Something like, yeah, bruh. <laughs> I clearly need to go back to school. Yeah. Why am I having a hard time breathing though? Well, you just say you have a screwed up now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I think I'm a pretty good Spanish speaker. Like, there's a lot I understand, definitely. There's, I just, I don't belong in this class, that's for sure. Yeah. And so from there is when I got transferred to another class where yeah, I was pretty well. Mm-hmm. And it was just a mess after that, because after high school, I mean, after after middle school and high school, I didn't take any Spanish. And that's mm-hmm. a story for another time. Mm-hmm. Talking so, a lot about that, like it. There was a lot of trauma like during your childhood. Bitch, <laughs> talk about trauma. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is pretty. I don't know what I'm doing with my lip. Like, I'm just trying to get as close of a shade 
to her lip as I can, but I don't know. <laughs> I just any. went in with this one. That's not the shade at all. It's more like a peach, right? Mm -hmm. See, I'm just going in with eyeshadows. That's what I'm doing. But I feel like it looks a little too pale. <laughs> My friend is shocked that I didn't like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> he likes every movie, so... <laughs> <laughs> what? There's only very few movies that he's like, okay, I can't. Which one was it? Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey? We couldn't finish that one. Okay, I give up on this one. We're just concocting what we can. I feel like I went too hard on the blush. I need Not blush. It. Okay, I think she is done. Same. Ooh, yeah, what do we think about this look? She looks cute. She looks very demure. <laughs> demure, mirror? I don't know. And here's the reference picture for y'all. Is it giving? I don't like it. <laughs> you don't yours? know? Oh, yours, look, bro. yours looks good, bro. No, I felt. Oh my god, yours <laughs> looks a lot more like the picture, like very soft, very subtle. Really? Mine looks too much. Like I went in. Wait, like, let me <laughs> see from the mirror. Girl, oh, okay, I see what you mean, but it still looks good. But yeah, it looks like very heavy. I feel like could it be because of your eye type? See, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, a lot oh. of these makeup looks do not go all well with me. Interesting. You know what? I want to do your makeup one day and see if I could, like, like elongate your eye or something. Like, I want to see if I could do that. Like, I have really, uh, like, a round, round eyes. bulgy eyes, yeah. though. Anyways, that, that is, is the look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, to both things. I need to check on the laundry. <laughs> Or <laughs> laundry day it's a sunday y'all hope you enjoy your day night or whatever and we'll catch y'all in the next one bye